Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I have been given a Sequin Wise Enclosure and I'm going to do a quick unboxing here and show you what's in the box and how this one's a little bit different from other enclosures that have been out there. Um, this was given to me by the vendor to do a review and I'm going to give my honest review on it and show you some of the pros and cons of it. Um, so what I want to do is just get into the quick unboxing here. Um, as you can see, it has the enclosure and the base, which is standard for most of these uh, wise cam uh, enclosure mounts. Uh, these are made to go outside and protect it from some of the water. And what comes in the box is basically the screws for uh, the case, the mounting hardware, the case itself, and the mounting bracket and no instructions so I'm assuming these are little plugs for the screw holes to keep it waterproof so let me take off the plastic here and I will show you how everything looks so here are all the pieces um, laid out um, it comes with the two-piece case and the mounting uh, bracket to mount it to the wall and the thing that's different is, as you can see, is these fit together like normal, but you've got this clear plastic uh, front on the hole where the camera goes. Now, most of these that I've had will have this, the front camera, open and there's no, nothing covering it, so water could egress into the case and possibly ruin the wise cam. So with this, you're supposed to be able to put the case together with the camera in it and still have the infrared night vision. So I will do a quick clip of a before and after of how that looks to show you if putting it in the case does affect how the night uh, vision goes. And also do some waterproofing and check and make sure that these plugs will hold up to the water and not let anything into the case. And also, I'm kind of concerned because there is no seal on the case itself. So uh, you might want to put some silicone on there. Um, I don't know if I would trust it. The water test, of course, I will not put the camera in, but I will um, just seal it the way it is here from the factory and give it a try in the water and see how it works. So basically, the camera, it fits into the case. And it's a snug fit and it fits tight and you plug in the power cable and it kind of loops around and the case goes on to the back and it has an exit for the for the wire and it has this plug in here I think to keep some of the water out as well to make it a little more waterproof but you can see here it fits really snug up against the uh, that front glass or plastic so I'm still, like I said, a little concerned on how it's going to look. So let me cut over and I will show you a before and then a after video. So here's the before. And as you can see, it's about, I'm about six or seven feet from the camera. And the quality is pretty good. I recorded this off of my cell phone. But on the one with the case, you can see there's a little bit of banding there on the edges. Um, on the corners there. I mean the, the quality is still pretty good. It seems a little lighter. So now on to the water test. And here I put a paper towel inside the enclosure. And I didn't want to put the camera in there so I just wanted to try this out. So I put it in and I closed everything up, mounted all the, uh, the screws in, put the plugs in. I didn't put the plug on the bottom there. But what I did was, um, you know, after I had the plugs in, I took and ran water over the top and the sides, the front, the back, just anywhere water could go. And then I even held it upside down in a tub of water, not to enclose everything, but to, enough to get it wet. And as you can see, I got a few spots there on the paper towel. So is it completely waterproof? No. Um, I think sealing the edges would help, but uh, overall I think it would be better than some of the ones with the open fronts because uh, it does hold a lot more, keep a lot more of the water out. 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And please come out and check my future videos. And I look forward to seeing you and having you drop back by again. Thanks. Have a great day.